morning everyone. Find me today at uh, a National Trust car park in Devon, known as Brainsham Car Park. Ooh. And this morning, we are heading off down to Millmouth Beach. What's at Millmouth Beach? Black Church Rock. So Millmouth Beach is quite a uh, remote and rugged part of the uh, North Devon coast. Apparently, in the oldie worldy days, there were quite a lot of shipwrecks on it. So it became known as the Iron Coast. So to get down to this beach, you've got to do a little bit of a hike downhill through some woodlands and uh, break out into the little valley that leads you down to the beach. It's not too bad a walk, but it is a little bit steep at times. So uh, yeah, I don't think this is a wheelchair accessible place. Well, that's a bit ominous. Hopefully that's not today. Oh, hello, Mr. Slug. Obviously enjoying himself. I will say that the path down here is quite treacherous. And when it's wet like this, yeah, it's very, very slippy. So uh, make sure you've got some good boots on and be careful where you step as you go down. Nearly hit the deck a couple of times already. I'm not even down to the beach yet, and that's deadly. Oh, you gotta love it, man. Look at those pheasants, loads of them. You can see why there's a sign on the gate now, can't you, for uh, we're gonna do a shoot. Poor buggers. Still, beautiful to see. Let's see what else we can see. Oh, there's loads more. And just like that, guys, we are at the ocean. Oh, oh, oh. Stunning. And it looks like we've got some information on these old buildings here. Tell you what, I wouldn't want to be the guys that brought this in. It's learning time. Yes, that's right. It's learning time with me, Dr. Steve, O-B-E, M-B-E, D-U-D-E. Not officially a doctor. So, here we go then. What can I tell you about this area? Firstly, it's Mouth Mill, Steve. It's not Mill Mouth, you numpty. Secondly, here at Mouth Mill Beach, it's known as the Iron Coast because of the vast amount of ships that were wrecked on its rugged coastline. Now, after spending a good 15 minutes on Google, I couldn't find any information about any of them. So please, leave a comment for me and let me know. And thirdly, the lime kiln here at Mouth Mill Beach was built around the 18th century. It was used to burn the limestone that was brought in by the ships that were not wrecked on the coast, and it produced lime. That's right, and lime was used to spread all over the farmer's fields so that they could reduce the acidity in the soil, which meant the poop from the cows could actually get down into the surface of the soil and provide some lovely nutrients. 
Brilliant. The ruins that are left standing, they're just the workshop and the lime kiln. Nobody knows what actually happened to the rest of this industrial site. Hmm, it's a mystery. And of course, the highlight of this area is Black Church Rock. That's right, Steve, that's what you've come to photograph. Please make a bloody good job of it. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. That's all from me. So guys, the whole reason we are here is just round this corner. I hope you'll agree. This is pretty impressive. And this is quite difficult to walk on. <laughs> so yeah, be careful if you do come here. Got to mind my step. I really got to mind myself. Oh, look, I've got phone coverage. And wow, look at that. Pretty stunning stretch of coastline, you've got to agree. And fair play to those sailors that were bringing the lime in. They're uh, braver men than me. So, here's the main reason I'm here, guys. Black Church Rock. Now, I've picked a specific time to come down here at low tide because the sea comes in and it covers all these leading lines that go up to this rock. I've taken this shot before in the past and uh, I'll put that up on the screen. Um, but what I really want is on a moody day like this is to get some nice streaking clouds. I think this should turn out to be a good one. Just give it a kiss of death, didn't I? Well that, well, that was treacherous. I finally got here, though, and I'm set up. So I've got uh, a nice leading line going through to the actual rock itself. Hopefully you can see that. And it's got the holes and the rocks there um, shining through so that uh, none of those are cut off. Hopefully I'll get some streaking in it. I've got it set to about 30 seconds. It's blowing over really fast, so that should be hopefully good enough. And... Uh, then I'll take one for uh, the actual rock itself because it's going to be a bit dark and then I'll, I'll take one for the foreground as well. Blend them all together and hopefully it'll look like something you're about to see. Well, true to form, the good old British weather has brought the sun out for us. 15 seasons in one day. I oh, know, there's only four. But uh, as I was wandering around, 
I was kind of thinking to myself, that rock over there, it looks a bit like a giant iguana. A bit like the ones you get, you know, David Attenborough in the Galapagos or something like that. What do you think? Well, before we leave, we should check out what's behind Black Church Rock, I reckon. Let's go and have a look. Yep. Oh man, it's treacherous. Well, this is pretty cool. It's not as cool as the other side because that's got all those leading lines going into it and this is just completely filled with boulders. They are there, they're just underneath all the boulders. Um, yeah, ah, I quite like it. It's a shady little nook around here. If you're looking for a kiss in the pudding with a certain special lady and, uh, or gentleman, depending on what you do. Then, um, yeah, cool place to come. If you're scrambling over rocks, uh, it's best not to do it with all your gear. Yeah. Just lost the wide angle lens for my little uh, vlogging camera here. Not only that, earlier on, I lost the polarizer for it. Oh man, I'm telling you, I really need to be a bit more careful. Uh, yeah, right, like I'm gonna learn my lesson. <sighs> 52 years on the planet. I haven't learned it yet. Still, I just have to buy another burger, won't I? Well, I'm no rock aficionado, but the uh, the textures and colours in these are phenomenal. Wow, what a cliff face! Now, if I was of half a mind, I'd be taking a few shots that are a bit more intimate on these. Well, it looks like the weather's starting to turn in. It's starting to drizzle and rain, so that's, I think that's my cue to uh, head off back to the van. But yeah, this is an absolutely stunning place. Wonderful rock formations, good history behind it. Beautiful place to come. So I do highly recommend it, but please be careful if you do come. It's treacherous underfoot, all right? So yeah, that's enough from me now. I'll see you all soon. Bye.